Lab at the FIU School of Architecture, and today we're going to talk about a project by uh, Roberto Rivero, uh, Chair of the Landscape Architecture Program. This was the uh, Miami K-8 through project where we produced a series of benches for an art magnet school. So uh, you can see the photograph here of the four benches that we produced. It's a great example of using the CNC machine along with regular uh, fabrication uh, uh, methods to produce a piece of furniture. Here's one of the pieces that we used to, uh, that we cut out on the CNC machine. We cut this using a quarter inch bit, and, um, and here's the uh, bit that we used. The next thing that we did in this process after the pieces were cut with the CNC machine was that we milled the slats, or the part that you were going to sit on, uh, about 80 pieces uh, at 2 inches wide. In addition, we cut another 60 pieces at 1 inch wide. The next step in the process was that uh, we had to round over the edges of these pieces because they have um, sharp edges and they were going to get caught on people's clothing. And that radius allows it uh, to fit perfectly into the cutouts in our CNC bench profile. We've sanded and filled all of the surfaces on this so that there's no surface imperfections. Now we're ready to begin installation. We're going to have to mix up some, um, some wood fill for this. And because this is an exterior application, we're going to use Bondo. This is an auto body filler, and it's an epoxy product, so we have to mix two separate parts. So I uh, put a little activator in with the, with the Bondo paste. I mix it up until it's a nice pink color. The final step before painting is that we need to do uh, a quick sanding of the place where we fill, and then just double check any of the edges.